So this is going to be a fast video, okay? Because um, if you've been testing, let's say my email and let's type whatever and let's click login, okay? You can see that uh, we get an error and the user is undefined. So how we can handle this? Let's handle it uh, in the basic way. Okay, there are other ways that we can handle this, but let's handle it like this. So this is going to catch the error, and that's why we are getting console. Okay, is this login? That's why we are getting console here. So instead of only consoling, let's return the error and let's say a login again. The user is not login. Let's say login. Okay. We get this inside the login. So we're returning actually this so, and let's do the same for the error here inside a sign in. So let's go to the login and actually change this. And um, let me just remove this. So this is going to return something different. This is not, well, let's call it response. Just like that, because this is going to be the response from Firebase. And let's say if response, so let's make some if statements here. If response has own property, own property called message, you can see that although it's not there, whatever I type okay it's going to return this code and message so we want this message if it has this message what we're going what we are going to do is just console log that message so it's going to be response that message and we can assign this to whatever we want okay to show the error but in the case response, we can we can call that else, or we can actually call like this response since um, sorry has own property. We expect it to have the user property, and now we can say console that log. A response that user okay and say a redirect is set redirect to true so we can redirect here okay let's save that and let's login we are not login let's see uh, whatever you can see that we get this post in rejection or error 400, but now we are consoling inside the login JS 16. That is um, this line. We can uh, check if we have the error and pass it, you know, below here as an error um, message, but we don't get redirected. Okay. Now, if I say one, two, three, four, five, six, let's see if it lets me. Yep. Now we have the user, okay, and we are login. So it's going to be the same for this one. So let's just copy all this. Copy because it can return also an error. So this is going to be response. And um, okay, because let's go to the sign in. We are already um, returning. On the config, we are already returning the error on both the sign in and login. So that's why this is useful to catch actually what we have inside this um, await and store it. If, okay, in case there's a user, it's going to return just the user. In case there's an error, we can return the error. Okay, So we can handle it like that. Let's say this because it's going to say that this is already created. Okay. 
the email address is already in use and we don't get redirected so we can create another one let's say a user at username one two three four five six create account it creates an account it redirects us and we have our error um our errors already handled and we can continue with okay let me close all this so i have everything prepared and we can continue working okay with uh, our application so in case you were testing and you were like fuck um, i'm receiving the error when someone is um, not adding okay the correct credentials but you were still getting redirected and just to show you that it created a user of course let's refresh this and uh, show wait for that okay that the user a uh, username at username was created so yeah here is how we can handle the error um, about the creations and sign in and login okay so that's it and we will continue with the create and um, create post and the other ones okay the other functions also in the next video